On the 25th of July, 2022, we turned 10. What a huge milestone for us at the Digicel Foundation. A decade of transformative projects right here in Trinidad and Tobago. The great thing about birthdays is that you get to celebrate for an entire year. And so our team came together to brainstorm, along with consulting with some of our major stakeholders and our favorite partners on how we would celebrate this 10-year milestone. We decided on 10 innovation labs at special schools in Trinidad and Tobago. The eight schools in Trinidad are Lady Hochoy School in Pinal, the Audrey Jeffers School for the Deaf, Rio Claro Learning and Development Center, Point of Pair Special School, Lady Hochoy School Arima, Charis Works Academy, Goodwill Industries, and Wharton Patrick Special School. And in Tobago, we have Happy Haven and Tobago Technical Vocational School. It's been a whirlwind year, and we're so happy to unveil these 10 innovation labs to you. The innovation labs are meant to transform the learning environment for our students, making sure that they are exposed to technology, to the internet, and to the world. The labs will be outfitted with computers, soundbars, assistive devices, virtual reality headsets, printers, interactive boards, smart TVs, and a whole lot more. Everything that's needed and tailored for persons with disabilities. One of our visions for Wharton Patrick School is to create smart classrooms. Basically, a smart classroom is a classroom where technology is used to enhance the teaching and the learning process. And along came Digicel Foundation with the idea of the Innovation Lab. We would have received overhead projectors, interactive smart board, song bars, and we were already equipped with the laptops. So the children now are very much engaged in their learning and they are using a lot of the learning sites, online sites. They do quizzes, they use read words, they use math playground, and we have teachers who actually use all these technologies in their learning, in their teaching and learning, making the classroom experience a more enjoyable one. The introduction of this lab is important for us. The world has changed and it is continuously changing towards the use of technology. Technology for our Generation Z is a tool. It is their everyday tool and they use it like, like clockwork. So our, our special children here, our persons with disabilities, they also need to be part of that trend. They need to use the technology so that they could navigate themselves into society, not just from a school's perspective. Of course, we will start with the basic things here. We will introduce, we will teach them the parts of the computer. They would learn about the technology, but they would learn to identify the, the parts of the keyboard and all of that. But then comes the usage of it, the actual cognition of what it is for you know, to get them to actually create a document, a story document, to create an email address and to communicate with their friends after school is something that is important. People do it every day and our children have the right to also do so. Working with children with behavioral and learning issues could be challenging. So what the technology has done is given them a greater interest in their learning. It is more engaging they have um, the constant repetition with the use of videos and the online learning sites, and so it has indeed impacted the learning and the behavior in the classroom. All special schools should have a computer lab because the, the world is changing, as I said before, and this is the way to go. It assists in so much development. It is interactive. It aids cognition. You know, and we hope that all of the children in Trinidad and Tobago could be, especially the disabled community, could be able to get into whatever their specialty is. Um, they should have devices to assist them and to also um, help them to navigate the world because this is what computers do. They connect you to the entire world. So once a child is there, they are part of a global community, not just a local community. You know, and this is the latest, and we are really, really proud to be here, and we are glad to be part of Digicel Foundation and to be considered by them. Thank you, Digicel. The contribution that Digicel Foundation has made to education in general, and more specifically, the education of our students here at Morton Patrick School, has had a significant impact on their learning and the teaching learning situation of our school. 
and we will be forever grateful for the contribution made. Having strategic partnerships is really important to the success of any project. And so the Digicel Foundation partnered with the Ministry of Education to ensure that we had the technical support available to the schools and to the principals to ensure that this initiative is sustainable, is well-maintained, and that the students can really benefit out of having this particular facility at their school.